Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and today we're going to be unboxing this month's ALC and Yarnable subscription boxes. Back by popular demand, this will be a regular reoccurrence until I quit subscribing to these subscription boxes because you guys are constantly asking for more of them. And requested that I do dedicated videos because some of you guys use these for touch points for things in the future. So I will try to continue to do these as a separate video as asked. I don't mind at all. It gives me an extra day to put videos up that normally I'd be like. So anyway, today's a little bit special because these just got here in the mail. So I've opened them. They're, they're both, uh, they're both open on the top, but I haven't looked inside of them to see what's inside yet. So this is going to be the first, first impression live reaction to a subscription box we've had in a really, really long time. So let's get on. So this is February's ALC and March's Yarnable. Uh, ALC comes out at the end of the month. Yarnable comes out at the beginning. And for whatever reason, they both shipped within a day apart from each other and were delivered today. So it is 12 10 on Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon. It's not afternoon. And I'm dying to see what's in these. So let's crack on. We'll start off with the ALC just because it's right here, right here. This is completely fun, y'all. I am very, y'all, y'all know my colors. Y'all know how I feel about colors. So, you know when I'm all, like, uh, all right. So, first off, we have a little stitch marker here. Oh, turn around. And I didn't even think about it. I was just wearing a green shirt because it kind of matched what I did with my makeup. We have what looks like a little Rolo. And we have some gold coins. We have a tote bag. Took me a second on that one. Just a basic nylon toady tote. That's one of those, uh, it's actually like seamed and rolled over, so it actually might hold up to being used, and it has an interior tag. You see it's actually a full rollover seam. It actually has structure, and we do have slightly expanding fold-over corners. Um... Let's see, extra large project bag, chocolates, stitch marker, and on to the yarn. Yes! So this is green for luck, colors for sass. I did move my subscription to the sock base, mostly because it's going to be a little bit easier for me to get through the sock yarn, even though I got a lot of sock yarn. I got a lot of beautiful hand dyed sock yarns. I actually think I know one of the colorways right off the bat that would pair really well with this. We got shocks pink, purple. We have something in there that looks almost uh, maroon. We got some gold. Got some navy. Yeah, I think it's where this uh, brighter burgundy color. I think it was. I think it was fuchsia before it hit the green. It smells like wool. It's a very damp day, uh, so whereas right now, I don't know how much y'all can see the glow from the window here, but um, we started off really, really questionable this morning. I did not go walking because I did not trust the weather to not rain on me. Saturday, I got rained on and was not happy about it. We weren't supposed to get rain until, I think it said like 10 o'clock in the morning, and we got one mile into our walk. It wasn't even seven o'clock yet. And it started pouring on us. So I was a little salty this morning. I did not chance it. And of course it's sunny and beautiful and then final day. Yes, I'm in a weird mood. 
onto the yarnable. Now Cheryl puts hers in a burlap sack so immediately I can't see the color. So we'll get that last. I have not scratched my discount card, obviously. So we have... Oh, that's very nice and heavy. Oh yeah, oh, that's a nice one. Tape measure. And it's a real heavy case. That's going to be very durable. That doesn't have that... Um... I know you guys have gotten flimsy tape measures in the past that have like just like an embossed... And you get like halfway down the road, no no stores in sight, and it breaks on you. All right, so we have a tropical travel pack. Oh, that's cool. So there's a Hawaiian shampoo, Hawaiian conditioner, the Tropics face mask, and an ocean spray foaming salt scrub. PETA approved vegan recyclable packaging. Did I see it on the front? The bunny? Yeah. Oh, that just says proudly vegan. I thought I saw the um, not tested on animals bunny there for a second. Anyway. A very unique thing. I have never gotten anything like that in a subscription box for yarn before. And then we have another Swedish dishcloth. We did get one of these while I was reviewing Yarnable. I love these things. It's one of the stupidest things to get excited about, but I love my Swedish dish claws. They clean like nobody's business. Between those and my moderately expensive microfiber cloths, I love them. So this is designed by Yarnable, produced by Swede dish cloths. Replaces up to 17 rolls of paper towel and just one eco-friendly Swedish cloth. I think it could, be, for my household at least, do more than 17 rolls um, of paper towels. The only thing I have not liked cleaning with these is when I go to actually like either vinegar or Windex my mirrors. It does great on my windows, but not on my mirrors for some reason. I will say that. Bella and Bear Tropical Travel Pack. One ounce sachets include shampoo, conditioner, body scrub, face mask, Vegan, plant-based, sustainable, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. And then the Yarnable Logo Tape Measure. Wow, words, you guys. If you watch Thursday's video, you'll realize I had issues with the thin tape. That's the video I filmed right before this. I mean, it is definitely on theme. So this one is Rest, Relax, and Recharge. So very tropically while keeping with the St. Patrick's Day aesthetic. And just for the record, not uncompatible again this month. That's two months in a row where literally what came out of the box is compatible. I would probably choose a blender, maybe a broken violet with some speckles in it. Um, but yes, we are once again in the carry color zone, especially with that beautiful pastel blue, that sea glass blue color. All right. Hopefully I will not knock on anything all bought while doing this, but I'm going to grab my basket of ALC and Yarnable Yarns. And we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how I do these pairings when I share, share pairings. I'm just going to step to the side. I shared with you guys on Tuesday's video about Taming the Stash update number two, 2023, that I finally have all my ALC and Yarnables together in one basket. And they're by themselves now. No longer do I have other dyers with them. It's just Cheryl and Nikki in here. So what I do is I look into the basket and go, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
But first off, I would like to say these two would have blended very nicely. Unfortunately, this one's a DK. This is this is festive. This also looks great with out of sight. Fall speckles. So if you had done some personal dot, uh, purchasing, you have a lot of these same colors in fall speckles as appear in the speckles behind the greens here. Also goes very well with the Mermazing from Yarnable. And Mermazing also, by the way, goes fantastic with this month's yarn here. Especially, let's say, we took this, this. Mm, need something to pull a little bit more of the green in, maybe. Maybe you did that. Or maybe. Um, let's uh, I mean, an all pink or an all purple skein are obvious matches. It's actually a little bit harder to match this. With the, I know I have other ones. Oh, the mint, winter mint. I feel like you take winter mint and that, and that's maybe too pale, pale. Maybe you paired it with a navy, which I don't see immediately on my yarn wall. If you paired all this with like a navy blender or a charcoal gray blender. So that's all I do. I just kind of look across the top of my basket here and just go, oh, that would be nice. Oh, that's pretty together. Oh, maybe I could put those together. And especially with how many of the pinks I have now collected, pinks and purples I have now collected. Like I said, uh, ALC, Nikki tends to dye very much like my three color wheelhouse, which is the pink, purple, blue wheelhouse. Cheryl always gives us something just a little bit different. We've, um, this isn't one of the yarnables, but this is her hypnotic yarn. You know, she tends to play a lot with some of the warmer tones. Then we get like, you know, just the random golds with browns and blues. Things like avocardio, like she's played a lot with the green color palette. So, and we've got like day glow green and then we've got natural greens too. Um, so it's, it, like I said, I've said it in videos previous to this one. I'm sorry. I'm trying to not wiggle this too much. When you are doing a subscription box that is a single dyer like this, it is very easy to start building up combinations in your own stash that you can pair together for beautiful fades. Last month was perfect because we had literally the two matched each other perfectly. And then I had like 20 different combinations with what I have just there, plus pulling one other brand. So uh, I love them. I think they're beautiful. Nice addition to my basket of beauties. Anyway, there is a link in the description box for ALC. There's also one for Yarnable. The Yarnable link is a affiliate link. So I get a little bonus at no cost to you if you purchase through my link. I'm not sure who is open right now to new subscribers, but I do know that the open subscription thing is getting ready to come up for both companies. So Keep your eye out. Do submit your email for openings intermittently throughout the year if you're interested. But other than that, you guys, I'm going to go pet some more yarn. Think about how pretty it is. And I will see you guys real soon. I love you guys.